It's not very big in here. Boy, are my feet going deep. Join me for a wet adventure on the Quinnebog Trail. This Connecticut walkbook map shows the full length of the Quinnebog Trail. We begin our hike in the north end along Route 14A. The trail heads south through Pleasant Woods before crossing Spalding Road. The trail continues through the forest until reaching the, a three-way intersection of Old Woods Roads. From here, it briefly joins the Enduro Route before splitting off and following an old Jeep trail to Locks Meadow Pond. At the south end of the pond, we rejoin the Enduro Route to Flat Rock Road, another Woods Road. In short order, we come to Devil's Den and an overlook near the summit of Flat Rock Road. The trail leaves the road and heads south through the woods. We cross from Plainfield to Voluntown, where once again we join the Enduro Trail. After crossing the Hell Hollow Road, we continue to Phillips Pond, sharing the trail most of the way with the Enduro Route. Phillips Pond has picnic tables and provides an excellent place to take a break. From here, the trail heads west to Breakneck Hill Road, following old roads and overlapping with the Enduro Route most of the way. Finally, we leave the Jeep trails and the Enduro Route behind for what I think is the best part of the trail. To the junction with the Nahantic Trail, we have a quiet walk in the woods with an old dam and mill ruins to explore. Today we're hiking the Quinnebog Trail and the goal is to hike it from the north end to the south end. The whole thing about eight miles. lot of rain in the last few days. In fact, all kinds of flood warnings up and down the East Coast, and uh, today's trail is going to be a little bit wet. The Quinnebog Trail was my last Blue Blaze trail to hike in Patchogue State Forest. I had some serious misgivings about this hike since the trail overlaps the Patchogue and Duro route for much of its length. The motorcycles are noisy, dusty, and cause serious erosion and flooding problems with the trail surface. While this is certainly true, the trail is not all bad and there are some very nice sections that I highly recommend. We experienced record rainfall in the previous couple of days and I was ready for a wet and cold adventure. This looks pretty deep. I'm gonna get my feet wet, but that about kept me up to my ankles or more. So the temperature this morning is about 40 degrees, but it dipped into freezing last night. Uh, in my 2023 goals video, my plan was to true hike this uh, entire trail, which is about eight miles. I stashed my bike at the southern end on the Nahantic Trail and uh, drove up here to North End, so uh, I'll be riding my bike back to the car later on. We've uh, reached the junction of two woods roads. On our left is Lock Road, which heads north, and uh, this is Patchogue Enduro Road. Over my shoulder there on that tree, you'll see uh, there's two symbols. One is the blue blaze for the Quinnebog Trail, and the other is the white diamond with the red arrow. That's for the Enduro Route. Boy, are my feet going deep here. Oh well, I've given up. My feet are cold now. Hopefully that uh, they warm up as I continue to walk. Having been here once before, I can tell you that the water is extremely high with all the rain we've had. And this beaver dam here is barely holding. Yeah, that looks like no fun. I'm gonna have to seek higher ground here. A little bit of bushwhacking. You can see down there, both sides of the trail are inundated with water. I see dry land, but uh, hopefully I'm not coming back to the trail too early.
and we're back on dry land. And there's the blue blaze. Looks like we would have had another ugly spot, but the trail has been recently rerouted here. I have never seen this before, but the beavers are chewing this tree into short sections so they can roll it down to the water. I don't want to jinx myself, but that might have just been the last major water obstacle on Locks Meadow Pond. And right now we've come to the junction with the Enduro Trail, so we're going to be sharing the Enduro Trail for a little while. Locks Meadow Pond is the headwaters of the Econ Brook that drains to the Moosip River north of here in Sterling, Connecticut. That ends the stretch north of Locks Pond where we share the path with the Enduro Trail. All right, I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. Just past those water obstacles, there's this down tree here. And if you look off on your left, you'll see rocks and a river. Well, it might not be much of a river on other days, but that's where Devil's Den is, and we're gonna go check it out right now. It's not very big in here, but we are actually in Devil's Den. It's a small crack, a couple feet, maybe two and a half, three feet wide. It's a cool place to check out. Well, the temps got up to about 44, but it's now dropped back to about 38. The wind is kicking up and the sun is gone. It's supposed to be getting some snow this afternoon. We can just about see the barricaded section of Flat Rock Road and hear the Quinnebog trails heading due south towards Hell Hollow Road. Can't really see it, but we got some horses up ahead. That's a lot of mud I just stepped in. Well, that's what happens when you pull out the camera and talk to the camera, you step in mud. So we've reached the intersection of the Enduro Trail. Blue Trail just came off of there. Enduro Trail joins us here. And right across from that is the foundation. Let's go check it out. reach Tell Hollow Road. Down there on our left is Tell Hollow Pond. We're going to continue on the Quinnebog Trail and head south to its junction with the Nahantic Trail. After a short walk on Hell Hollow Road, which is closed this time of year, we're going to jump right back into the woods and follow the Quinnebog Trail. So we're about 5.6 miles into the hike and the Quinnebog Trail is going to take a left here and run parallel to Trail 1, which is that dirt road off in the distance. Even though it's just a stone throw away from the dirt road, this might be the prettiest stretch of the trail so far. No uh, motorcycles and no erosion. Well, the Quinnebog dumps us right out on trail one here. 
right at the dam to Phillips Pond. So let's go check out Phillips Pond before we cross the road. regularly follow channel may notice I'm sporting a new backpack today this is the Talon 22 which I purchased with a gift card I received the Christmas from my son Jeff and his uh, wife Nanki thank you guys appreciate it so far so good It's 1.30 and we just pop back out on a woods road and guess what? It's snowing. Yeah, it looks like we've rejoined the Enduro Road. Well, I'm not a big fan of this Enduro section at all. Um, they've also cut down a lot of the trees because of the problems that they had with the invasive species. Kind of want to power this section out and get the hell out of it. Pretty sure this is sleet, not snow. Thankfully, we've once again parted ways with the Enduro Trail. close to the river and there's this cool foundation here I suspect there was a mill here maybe I mean it's a small I don't know 12 by 12 foundation and uh, literally here looks like a ditch maybe for a uh, power canal for water well curiosity got the best of me so I bushwhacked my way through this is definitely the uh, uphill side of the dam here and this whole area here may have been, you know, water supply for some kind of a, maybe a sawmill or something. Behind me over here is where the factory was. And as we turn around a bit over here is where the water would have come down and there would have been a wheel here that would have been turned to make power maybe for a sawmill here. Pretty cool. Well, that brings us to the end of the Quinnebog Trail. I got 9.4 on my all trails. Okay, we just crossed Lester Road. Let's go see if my bike is still where I left it. That's going to wrap up a very wet day. We did 10 miles hiking and 6.5 miles on the bike. Thanks for joining me, and I'll see you on the next adventure.